Hi friends, welcome back for another week with Miss Vicky. Um, we're here at the Children of the Rock. And welcome for anyone who is visiting this page or returning to visit. Thank you for just taking this time to enjoy a lesson with us and just be in the presence of the Lord, even if we can't physically be in a physical church. So we'll go ahead and start with opening prayer and we'll get into the lesson. So pray as you feel led. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us this time. Please, Lord, just protect this time that we may just be able, that I may be able to deliver this message in the way that you see fit and that this message reach the hearts and minds the way you intended to. So please, Lord, just we ask of all these things in your name. Amen. Okay, so we are still reading from Acts. This week, we're going to talk about Paul stoning um, and how God provides from us. So we are in Acts chapter 14, verse 8 through 20. And Lystra, there was a man who had been born with crippled feet and had never been able to walk. The man was listening to Paul speak when Paul saw that he had faith in Jesus and could be healed. So he looked straight at the man and shouted, stand up. The man jumped up and started walking around. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they yelled out in the language of Lyconia, the gods have turned into humans and have come down to us. The people then gave Barnabas the name Zeus and they gave Paul the name Hermas because he did the talking. The temple of Zeus was near the entrance of the city. Its priests and the crowds wanted to offer a sacrifice to Barnabas and Paul. So the priests brought some bulls and flowers to the city gates when the two apostles found out about this, they tore their clothes off in horror and ran to the crowd shouting, why are you doing this? We are humans just like you. Please give up all this foolishness. Turn to the living God who made the sky, the earth, the sea, and everything in them. In times past, God let each nation go its way, but he showed that he was there by the good things he did. God sends rain from heaven and makes your crops grow. He gives food to you and makes your hearts glad. Even after Paul and Barnabas said, had said all this, they could hardly keep the people from offering a sacrifice to them. Some Jewish leaders from Antioch and Iconium came and turned the crowds against Paul. They hit him with stones and dragged him out of the city, thinking he was dead. But when the Lord's followers gathered around Paul, he stood up and went back into the city. The next day, he and Barnabas went to Derby. So what this story is trying to tell us and trying to illustrate that when they seen the work that Paul had done and healed this man, they, these people thought they were some other gods. So if you read this verse in your Bible, when they say um, the gods have turned into humans and have come down to us, which is in verse 11, God isn't capitalized. So we're not talking about God. We're not talking about God the Father. We're talking about different, their gods, their idols, things that they worship and praise. So they thought Paul and Barnabas were these gods, lowercase g gods, okay? And so Paul is telling them, we are not gods. We are humans. We are here to do God's work. I don't have power. God gave me that ability to heal him. So praise God, not me. So when they're trying to praise them and give them these um, these sacrifices, it scared them because they're just like, hey, we don't want credit. Give God the credit. Give God the glory. So I also found like another uh, reading that kind of breaks it down. So... We may hear about a person who has done something wonderful. Maybe we hear about a church leader who leads many people to believe in Jesus. We must remember that we should not praise the person. We should only praise God for what he's done through this person. He's the one who gives us power to do wonderful things. Like I was just telling you and sharing with you, Paul didn't want credit for what he did and they didn't see him as, oh, 
he's working for God and God is doing his work. They saw him as some other gods. Paul and Barnabas was like, that's not what we're here for. We're doing his work. Okay. So the prayer starter for this week is thank you for giving us food and making our hearts glad. Memory verse goes on to follow from the previous week. Stop all your dirt, dirty talk. Say the right thing. That's from Ephesians 4, 29. Okay, so story was short, straight to the point. So I hope everything makes sense for you all. Um, I don't feel a need to like really hash it out and explain it because I feel like it was very well explained in the verse and then the example I gave in the breakdown. So any questions, comments, feel free to reach out to me with those questions and comments um, that can be made on the church's Facebook page. So we are going to go ahead and close out in prayer and um, just hope that you all have a good week and pray how you feel led. Heavenly Father, thank you for protecting this time. And no matter how long or how short the message, there is something to take away. And I pray that these hearts understand that whoever is doing work for you, that we shall always praise you, not the man not the woman, not the flesh. It's your work, Lord. So I pray that these hearts understand how important this is, that we don't follow and praise false idols and we don't get caught up in idolizing people. So Lord, just protect those from the, you know, from the confusion that the world bestows on us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so I hope you all have a good week. Have a blessed week. I'm praying for you. I hope you pray for me as well. Um, just continue to do good work. Pay attention, listen. Be the best version of yourself that you can be. We expect for people to have not great days, but let's make those not great days have more positives in the day than negatives, okay? So I always say, fight hate with love, fight negative with positive, okay? Love you all. Can't wait to see you soon. Bye.